welcome to Renault chemistry classes in this video i am going to discuss about the intermediate first year chemistry topic hydrocarbons in this hydrocarbons topic i am going to discuss about physical and chemical properties of alkenes mainly focusing on chemical properties of alkenes in what kind of reactions alkenes will participate and the various reactions participated by alkenes thank you for watching trinad chemistry classes please like the video share and subscribe the channel so we know that alkenes are the unsaturated unsaturated hydrocarbons unsaturated hydrocarbons having at least one carbon carbon double bond are called alkenes and they have the general molecular formula of cn h2n so in this the first member of this alkenes is c2h4 so this is called ethene or ethylene ethene or ethylene we have seen the four preparation methods for the preparation of alkenes one is from alkynes from alkynes then second one is from alkyl halides that is vicinal dihalides then third one is from alcohols third one is from alcohols then fourth one is from vicinal dihalides vicinal dihalides so from all kinds the preparation of alkenes from all kinds when all kinds are treated with lindlar's catalyst or on reduction with sodium by liquid ammonia gives alkenes when alkyl halides on reaction with alcoholic oh beta elimination occurs and alkynes are formed when alcohols are treated with the concentrated hso4 at 170 degrees centigrade alkenes are formed when vicinal dihalides on reaction with on reaction with zinc gives alkenes so in this video mainly focusing on properties so the first one is physical properties physical properties so in physical properties the first two members the first three members are that is C2H4, C3H6, C4H8. The first three members are gases. First three members are first three members are gases, and uh, up to the next 14 members, that is up to C17H34, are liquids from C5H10 to C17H14 are liquids, and uh, after C18 onwards. C18 onwards are solids. C18 onwards are solids. So among these alkenes, the first three members are gases. First three members are gases. And the next 14 members are liquids. And the next higher ones are solids. Higher ones are solids. So among these, ethene is a ethene is a colorless. Ethene is a colorless gas with the faint sweet smell colorless gas with faint sweet smell colorless gas with faint sweet smell colorless gas with faint sweet smell and whereas other other alkenes are other alkenes are ethene is a colorless gas with faint Sweet smell, whereas other alkenes are colorless and waterless. Colorless and waterless. Colorless and waterless. So the ethene is a colorless gas with sweet smell, whereas all other alkenes are all other alkenes, that is propene onwards, all are colorless and waterless. And also insoluble in water and also insoluble in water insoluble in 
water and these are soluble in non polar solvents these are soluble in non polar solvents such as benzene such as benzene so alkenes are alkenes are insoluble alkenes are insoluble in water but are soluble in non polar solvents like benzene non polar solvents like benzene so these are the some of the uh, physical properties of the uh, alkenes some of the physical properties of the alkenes now let me discuss some of the chemical properties of alkenes some of the chemical properties of alkenes chemical properties of alkenes so we know that uh, alkenes are the unsaturated hydrocarbons having carbon carbon double bond having carbon carbon double bond the alkenes are the unsaturated hydrocarbons having carbon carbon double bond in this uh, carbon carbon double bond containing species carbon undergoes sp2 hybridization carbon undergoes sp2 hybridization and uh, in this uh, sp2 hybridization the carbon is forming like this one axial overlapping one sigma bond and we along with for example if you take ethene there are two yeah, there are three sp2 hybrid orbitals three sp2 hybrid orbitals on each carbon one sp2 hybrid orbital is overlapping with the another sp2 hybrid orbital of carbon axially and forming sigma bond and the rest two are forming with the hydrogens in ethene hydrogens and forming the four ch sigma bonds there is a one high hybridized orbital there is a one unhybridized orbital on each carbon and these unhybridized orbitals are overlapping laterally and forming pi bond and forming pi bond so these due to presence of this pi bond due to presence of pi bond what is happening is alkenes alkenes are the rich source of rich source of loosely held loosely held pi electrons alkenes are the rich source of rich source of loosely held pi electrons loosely held pi electrons so due to this they participate in addition reactions they participate in addition reactions so in uh, uh, general organic chemistry we have discussed uh, various organic reactions one is substitution reaction addition reaction elimination reaction and then um, rearrangement reactions due to presence of this loosely held pi electrons all kinds are acting as a rich source of uh, pi electron electrons that's why they participate in addition reactions they participate in addition reactions and uh, in that also the electrophile 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 attacks the electrophile adds on to the carbon carbon double bond to form products to form products so alkenes are the are the rich source of loosely held pi electrons they participate in addition reactions uh, in that addition reactions electrophiles electrophiles adds to the electrophile adds to the carbon carbon double bond and form addition products and form addition products and form addition products so right so the main reactions participated by alkenes is the uh, addition reactions along with addition reactions they participate in ozonolysis uh, polymerization and uh, uh, oxidation reactions now the first chemical property is addition of hydrogen dihydrogen when alkenes are treated with h2 gas in 
the presence of in the presence of catalysts such as platinum palladium or nickel and so on alkenes are heated with h2 gas in the presence of catalysts electrophilic addition reaction takes place and electrophilic addition reaction takes place and alkenes are formed alkenes are formed alkenes are formed when alkenes are treated with hydrogen gas in the presence of catalysts such as palladium platinum nickel electrophilic rea addition reaction takes place and alkenes are formed so let me take one example when ethylene is treated with h2 in the presence of palladium or platinum what is happening is hydrogen is added when in place of one double bond one hydrogen adds here and another hydrogen adds here so you will get ethane you will get ethane you will get ethane similarly if you take propane ch3 ch double bond ch2 h2 in the presence of nickel on heating gives so in place of double bond what we have to write in per, remove the double bond and add one hydrogen to this carbon and to this carbon so what we will get ch3 ch2 ch3 right suppose if you take two butene if you take two butene what we are getting h2 in the presence of nickel or palladium or platinum so in place what with the carbons which are at a, which are having carbon carbon double bond so remove the pi bond ch3 and add one one hydrogen to the carbons right so this is the one of the reaction addition of dihydrogen addition of dihydrogen then next one is addition of halogens next one is addition of halogens so the next electrophilic reaction is addition of halogens so halogens like halogens like chlorine or bromine chlorine or bromine chlorine or bromine add up to alkene add up to add up to alkene alkene to form to form vicinal dihalogens vicinal dichlorides or dibromides dibromides so when it is treated with chlorine they form vicinal dichlorides when treated with bromine they form dibromides vicinal dibromides so for example when ethene is treated with chlorine ethene is treated with chlorine ethene is treated with chlorine what is happening is ch3 ch cl ch2 so in that addition in these addition reactions in place of we know that the one is sigma bond another is pi bond in the pi bond place the carbon which is having carbon carbon double bond the remove the pi bond between them and add one one chlorine right so for example if you take ch3 propene if you take bromine in the presence of carbon tetrachloride salt what is happening is bromine so vicinal means if two halogens are present on the adjacent carbons those are called vicinal dihalides so when alkenes are treated with halogens vicinal dihalides are formed vicinal dihalides vicinal dihalides are formed so this reaction addition of halogen will be uh, will shown only by uh, chlorine and bromine iodine iodine doesn't show addition reactions under normal conditions similarly the fluorine also right so here the addition of halogen involves when alkenes are treated with chlorine or bromine 
chlorine or bromine electrophilic addition reaction takes place and vicinal dihalides are formed vicinal dihalides are formed so this is the second one electrophilic addition reactions of alkenes electrophilic addition reactions of alkenes then next one is addition of hydrogen have hydrogen have hydrogen have so when alkenes are treated with alkenes are treated with hydrogen halides hydrogen halides when alkenes are treated with hydrogen halides such as hcl hbr hi when alkenes are treated with hydrogen halides electrophilic addition reaction takes place electrophilic addition reaction takes place and alkyl halides are halides are alkyl halides are formed right so for example if you take ethylene ch2 ch plus h what is happening is one hydro one you see in this hb or h plus and br minus that's why what is happening hydrogen adds to one carbon and bromine adds to another so what we will get ch3 ch2 if you take for example ch3 ch2 butene if you take from hcl is added what we are getting add hydrogen to one carbon and bromine to another ch3 ch br ch2 ch3 so here i have added hydrogen to this carbon and a bromine to this carbon that's why i got two bromo butane two bromo butane so here addition reaction uh, is will occur for uh, alkenes here we are classifying into two types one is symmetrical alkenes and unsymmetrical alkenes and symmetrical alkenes symmetrical alkenes and unsymmetrical alkenes so what are symmetrical alkenes and what are unsymmetrical alkenes so symmetrical means for example if you take two butene and one butene two butene means what is it so ch3 double bond ch ch so this is nothing but two butene one butene means ch3 ch2 ch double bond ch right so uh, here what are the groups attached to this carbon carbon double bond one is hydrogen this side another one is methyl this side also methyl and hydrogen right so whatever the groups present on the, all are the same this side is left hand side is one methyl and one hydrogen if the same type of groups present on the both sides of the carbon carbon double bond it is called symmetrical it is called symmetrical if different groups are attached you see here this is ethyl group this is the carbon carbon double bond one hydrogen and one ethyl group here both are hydrogens both are hydrogens so the uh, 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 there are no similar groups here on the both sides of the carbon carbon double bond same type of groups or atoms are present that's why it is called symmetrical if same type of atoms or groups are not attached it is called unsymmetrical alkene it is called unsymmetrical alkene for example if you take propene propene is a unsymmetrical alkene why here on the carbon atom which is having carbon carbon double bond so this side there are two hydrogens but here one hydrogen and one methyl group one hydrogen and one methyl group that's why uh, it is unsymmetrical alkene so here when hydrogen halide is added to the symmetrical alkenes when hydrogen halide is added to symmetrical alkenes when hydrogen halide is 
added to symmetrical alkenes. Symmetrical alkenes. We will get. We will get only one proton. CH2, CH, X, CH. Where X is chlorine bromine, I Where X is chlorine bromine, I do. So when hydrogen halides are, when hydrogen halides are symmetrical alkene, added to symmetrical alkenes, symmetrical alkenes, we will get only one product. But when hydrogen halides are added to unsymmetrical alkenes, for example, when HBr is added to the protein, when HBr is added to the protein, we are getting two products. So for our convenience, I am writing, I am marking one, two, three. So here, on the like carbon labeled one, hydrogen may attack. This is the one possibility. Right or not? And on second carbon, bromine. A reverse may happen. On first carbon, bromine will attack. On second carbon, hydrogen. Then what we will get? Here, I am getting two products. Right? CH3, CH, CH3. Here, CH3, CH2, CH2. Here on carbon one in the, the process two, this is this is one. In, in step in process one, I have first carbon attacks the hydrogen and second carbon attacks the bromine. Whereas in second one possibility, what we have seen in first carbon bromine is added and second carbon hydrogen is added. Right? So among these products, among these products, which product is the major product? We will say based on the Marconi properties. Marconi cops. So, which product is the major product? We will say based on the based on the Marconi cops rule. Marconi cops rule. According to this Marconi cops rule, the negative part of the adding part. The negative part of according to this Marconi cops rule, negative part of adding part. That is adding part. That is adding part. Attacks the adds to the carbon having carbon having less number of hydrogens. Less number of hydrogens. According to the Marconi cough rule. According to the Marconi cough rule, during the addition of uh, during the addition of HBr uh, alkyl halides, HBr2. Alkyl halides to alkenes, the negative part of addendum, that is adding part, adds to the carbon having adds to the carbon having less number of hydrogens. Less number of hydrogens. So here there are two hydrogens. There is only one hydrogen. So according to Marconi Kopf rule, so in the negative part is H plus and Br minus. So Br minus the negative part attacks the carbon having less number of hydrogens that product is the major product and the second product is the minor product so what is the marconi cops rule marconi cops rule states that during the addition of alkyl halides to unsymmetrical alkenes alkyl halides to unsymmetrical alkenes the negative part of addendum adds to the carbon having less number of hydrogens less number of hydrogens Right, so the this is the major product and this is the minor product based on the Marconi cough rule. So in IPE point of view, uh, the Marconi cough rule they may ask for two months. So in the addition of HBr hydrogen halides to unsymmetrical alkenes, we have seen Marconi cough rule. Next one is anti Marconi cough rule. Anti Marconi cough rule when HBr is added to unsymmetrical alkenes. Unsymmetrical alkenes. Unsymmetrical alkenes. Addition reaction. Addition reaction takes place. 
according to sorry addition in the presence of in the presence of peroxides in the presence of peroxides addition reaction takes place in the presence of peroxides peroxides addition reaction takes place addition reaction takes place according to anti morphonic of rule the product will be formed according to the anti morphonic of rule so why we are is calling anti morphonic of means which is occurring against rule contrary to the anti morphonic of rule that's why we are calling it as anti morphonic of rule so here when hbr is added to the unsymmetrical alkene in the absence of peroxides it follows morphonic of rule in the presence of peroxides my my anti morphonic of rule so in morphonic of rule what we have seen the uh, the negative part of the adding part attacks the carbon having less number of hydrogens so according to this anti morphonic of rule anti morphonic of rule the negative part attacks the negative part attacks the carbon having more number of hydrogens carbon having more number of hydrogens carbon having more number of hydrogens so for example if you take plus h so here ch3 ch2 ch3 so this is the major product and that is the second one is the minor so this is regarding morphonic of rule and anti morphonic of rule so this anti morphonic of rule is applicable with our, our is applicable only for the addition of hbr2 unsymmetrical alkenes whereas in hcl or uh, hi case whether it is presence or absence of peroxides according to morphonic of rule only product will be formed right so these are the some of the uh, electrophilic addition reactions of alkenes thank you for watching trinath chemistry classes please like the video share and subscribe the channel